Hello everyone from Curry Senior Vitality. My name is Josie with Community Tech Network and today I want to show you the calendar app. First I'll point out that there are several different calendar apps but the one we'll focus on today is the default calendar app that comes with the iPad. And it looks like this. So it's a white icon with the day of the week in red and the date in black. And note that this is accurate, so it will change to reflect today's date. So I'll tap to open it. And the first thing to notice is that there are four different views that you can use within the calendar. So day, week, month, or year. If we start with looking at the day, the main thing to note is that the current time is always marked in red. So when we're in the day view, you can scroll up or down to see all the hours of the day. But this red line across the day will show you the current time. And if you have any events added, you would see them here at the appropriate time, and you'd also see a list of events on the right side. Notice too, across the top are all the days of the week, and today's date is always marked in red. But I could tap on these other days to look at what events I had yesterday, or what events I have tomorrow. And you'll see when I select Saturday, the date is highlighted in black, but always today's date will be shown in red. And also you can always tap this red today to jump back to the present. Currently, I have no events listed, but to add a new event, I'll look in the top left corner Find the red plus sign and tap it. And then you'll have several fields where you can enter information. First is the title. So just as an example, I will say class. Maybe you want to add a, your class, your weekly class. Next is location. So this is optional, but if you do tap on it, you can either type in a particular address or select from one of the recent locations, let's say Curry Senior Center. And you can see the address is shown there. All day, this is only for our events that last the entire day. For example, maybe a birthday. To turn it on, you would tap the little toggle button. Green is on, gray is off. If it's turned off, you need to select a specific start and end time. And a date and time will automatically be entered here. But to change them, let's say I need to change the date. When I tap it, first of all, I can select the time. Maybe it's not 12, but it's 2, 2 o'clock. PM, that's correct. And then a calendar. Again, today's date is shown in the red circle and I can select the correct date. Let's say Monday, the 27th. Ends 3 PM. The default when you add an event is one hour, but if you need to change it, you can. Maybe it's a two hour class. Next, repeat. Currently it's set to never repeat, so this would just be a one time event. But if I tap here, I can select, maybe this event happens every day, every week, every month, or custom. So there are many, many different options that you can play around with, let's say weekly, every one week, or every two weeks. 
on Mondays. Other optional choices here are if there's any travel time or if you want to stop it from repeating at a certain point, you could do that. In this alert section, you can set it to no alert, but you can also set a reminder for yourself maybe a day before or five minutes before. And there's even a section down here for a URL. For example, maybe the event has some details on a certain website and you want to add that website URL here, you could. Or you could add some notes if you needed to. And always before you tap add, just make sure everything's correct. Oh, I also forgot to mention invitees. So if you wanted to add somebody, you could do that here. In my case, I only have these two contacts, but if I wanted to invite one of them, I would tap their name. If you made a mistake, you can delete that name. Done. And finally, if everything is correct, tap Add. And since I added the location, it's very convenient. The address is here. All the details are here. And you can see now that on Monday the 27th, it shows up as this block of color from two to four. And if I change to week mode, there it is too. So currently on my calendar next week, I have a class here from two to four and a class on Tuesday, three to five. And this one you can see, since I set it to repeat, it appears every Monday at that time. And to quickly get back to today, I'll tap red today, and here we are. And notice too, if I tap month, in the month view, any days that have certain events will show up a little bit differently. So in this case, again, this is today's date. And on the 27th, I have an event. Here I have an event. And if I had several events on a particular day, they would all be listed there. I wanted to point out these other icons in the top left. This first one here will show your calendars. So it is possible to have multiple calendars. In this case, here is my actual calendar, but I've also subscribed to US holidays so any holidays that are shown on that calendar, I'll see on mine, which is helpful. But if you did ever know someone who had a calendar that they were using, you could add them. Uh, that would of course require some permission from them. Now, if I tap on my calendar here, I can choose a different color if I'd like. So right now I have this turquoise color, but if you like purple, you can change it. And now all of my events are showing up as purple. If you've opened up this calendar tab and want to close it, just tap the calendar again. The second icon here is your inbox. So this would include any invitations to calendar events that you've received. So I don't have any right now. There's also replied. So if you had been invited to events in the past and you had either accepted or declined, those would show up there. The third icon 
shows just a running list of all of your upcoming events that you've added to your calendar. Again, red is showing today's date. And I can see here easily that my next event is on Monday, two to four, and then Tuesday, three to five, and so on. And here you can see in green, these are the events from that US holidays calendar. So just a quick recap, calendars, invitations, your list of upcoming events, and the plus is to add a new event. The one last thing I wanted to go over related to the calendar is how to sync your calendar with your Fitbit so that you can get notifications on your Fitbit about upcoming events. So to do that, we'll open the Fitbit app, which looks like this, turquoise with white dots. And when it opens, you'll want to tap in the top left corner on this little person icon. Here you should have your name and further down the name of your device, Inspire HR for me. When you tap on it, besides this information about when it was synced, you can select notifications and see which notifications are turned on. So if calendar events is off and you'd like to receive those notifications, tap to turn it on. And the last thing is even though we focused on the Apple calendar app, which looks like this, that is of course not the only calendar app available. And one that's very popular is Google Calendar. And um, especially if you use other Google tools like Gmail or Google Meet, Google Calendar might be a really good option for you since it syncs very well with those other Google products and is also accessible on Android devices. If you're interested in checking that out, you would go into the App Store, search for Google Calendar, And so the Google Calendar app looks like this. And if it's something you want to try out, tap on Get to install it. And uh, once you have it installed, you'll find it doesn't look exactly like the Apple Calendar app, of course, but it works very much the same way. You can add events and look at the calendar in day, week, month, or year mode. And uh, you can definitely find a lot of information online about how to use it. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching and have a great day.